Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go I hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh. So today we are towing a Harley Davidson It was towed to our impulse lot Due to it being involved in a crash We are bringing it back to their house now We're about 15 minutes away We got the motorcycle trailer behind the wrecker and have the bike loaded up in there we just got to where we gotta unload this motorcycle people flag me down so how are you guys not too bad. So since it still like runs and starts up, do you just want to push it out, you think? And then we can just drive it up. Yeah, I was the one out there with it. Yeah, if you want to push from the front, I just got to get out of this. Stuck out of the slot? Yeah, it's like, it'll kind of flip. Gotta love it. Yep. Yeah, not too bad. Perfect. Then you just want to drive it up in there. Awesome. Good to go. You guys are all paid up, so you. you bet. Take care. I can push it from the back if you want to steer it. Problem. Appreciate that. Yep, have a good one. You too. Perfect. Didn't go bad. We just dropped off that motorcycle. Went super easy. I rolled it out, helped the guy push it up into the garage. Gonna be heading back towards the shop. I'm not sure what we got going on next. I'm sure it'll be something. It's raining a little bit down here now. Gotta let the dogs in. Hey boys. Good boys. So so I'm hauling up a motorcycle that's got a VIN number scratched off and a four-wheeler. I think that's either 
I think it was crashed or stolen. I want to say stolen because the ignitions tore out of it, but don't hold me to it. Bring it up to our Bram shop here. I'm gonna put it inside. Let's get the gate opened up. And get the trailer pulled in here. Using this trailer for hauling motorcycles, wheelers. Works so much better than trying to drag it up on a flatbed by yourself. All right, let's try getting it backed up to this third door here. Backed it in, no problem. I know people always say, how do you back it in like that? I think I've been doing this now for almost seven years. So I've done it a couple times. Got this wheeler. I had to push over the back end of this motorcycle a little bit. So that we could get the wheeler in far enough so that the back of the door here would close without hitting. So this wheeler, in order to get it started, the ignition's, I think, broke or punched. So you have to use a screwdriver, put it in here, twist it, and it should start right up. Scooting that back end over a little bit. Suzuki Intruder and a Polaris Wheeler. I think it's like a 350. It's a pretty small one. It's raining out now. Gotta get the trailer tucked away.
is how you back in a trailer like a pro. With the old Duramax. Perfecto. Take this adapter back with me. That's for the wrecker. So, because typically the stock cables on the trailers aren't long enough to reach our plugins on the wreckers. That's why we have these extensions. Give us a couple extra feet. Get our safety chains unhooked. We got the safety chains off. You just gotta pull forward. We'll take this off outside of the impound here. Busy day so far hauling four wheelers and motorcycles. I've hauled two bikes and a four wheeler. Just dropped off the trailer at our Bram shop. So I don't think I'll be hauling any more wheelers and stuff like that today unless someone crashes a motorcycle. But it's been kind of rainy, cloudy, crappy out today. I think it's 50 degrees out, so I wouldn't want to be out riding, but I'm sure there's people that are. <laughs> 